The phrase Russian oligarch has evolved to denote extraordinary wealth and power through a combination of political ties, calculated commercial enterprises, and questionable techniques. These individuals have accumulated astonishing riches. This film delves into the world of Russian oligarchs, examining their ascent to prominence, money sources, and related scandals. You may be wondering what a Russian oligarch is, who they are, and what they do. Don't worry too much. The answers aren't too far-fetched, particularly in the context of post-Soviet Russia. The term oligarch connotes enormous money, power, and influence. A class of people known as oligarchs have accumulated enormous wealth, frequently by risky commercial dealings, ties to the political establishment, and occasionally dubious methods. An engrossing story that perfectly captures the turbulent shift from the Soviet Union to the Russian Federation is the rise of the Russian billionaires. We need to examine the intricate historical, economic, and political factors that influenced their rise to power in order to fully comprehend their climb. The region's political and economic environment was drastically altered by the catastrophic fall of the Soviet Union in 1991. The once dominant Soviet empire fell apart over suddenly, leaving a patchwork of recently independent countries, each struggling to adjust to its newfound independence. Russia was in the midst of a massive shift during this geopolitical upheaval, divided between its Soviet heritage and the difficult process of creating a new identity. Russia experienced an identity problem throughout the post-Soviet era. The nation was now a country trying to find its position in the fast-shifting global order rather than the core of a vast communist bloc. The collapse of centrally planned economies meant return to market-oriented concepts and a rejection of well-known structures. This ideological change posed a serious threat to the foundations of Russian society and was more than just an economic turnabout. It was nothing short of revolutionary to move from a centrally planned to a market-oriented economy. The Soviet Union's state-run businesses and communal farms had to adjust to the demands of the market and rivalry. People who had been mere gears in the enormous machinery of state-run businesses suddenly found themselves negotiating the challenges of free market competition and entrepreneurship. There were difficulties with this change. In an attempt to boost economic growth, state assets were abruptly privatized, which resulted in disorganized and frequently opaque procedures. As things changed quickly and in an unpredictable environment, astute business people recognized opportunities among the chaos. These people later dubbed oligarchs took advantage of the privatization wave quickly, buying state-owned businesses and sectors for a pittance of their true worth. In post-Soviet Russia, the term oligarch became commonplace, designating a small group of people who quickly accumulated enormous wealth and influence. Using their clout and shrewdness, the oligarchs managed to seize important businesses, resources, and properties in this unsettling climate where laws were still being drafted. Their careers took them into the oil, gas, media, and financial industries, where their wealth surged. The oligarchs were unique in that they had strong connections to the government in addition to their financial expertise. These relationships were extremely beneficial since they frequently dictated who was granted access to the most profitable governmental resources. It's crucial to remember that the oligarchs and the government had complex, varied connections. Numerous times, oligarchs gave the government vital political and financial backing, guaranteeing their prolonged power and wealth. In economic operations, the 1990s in Russia were characterized by a Wild West mindset. It was typical to see opaque deals, dubious ethics, and occasionally outright criminal activity. It was a time when it was difficult to distinguish between legal and unethical commercial operations. Numerous Russian oligarchs have built their monetary empires in the natural resources and energy sectors. They leverage the enormous profit potential of the oil, natural gas, and mineral extraction industries by controlling profitable businesses in these sectors. Their ability to influence markets, both domestically and internationally, has enabled them to amass significant wealth Numerous Russian oligarchs own substantial shares in the nation's top banks. They can now take use of the many opportunities offered by the financial industry, such as wealth management, lending, and investing. Their involvement in the banking sector gives them more financial clout and opens up opportunities for asset growth. 
oligarchs frequently venture into media and entertainment in order to expand their influence outside the traditional industries. They possess the ability to sway public opinion and spread information by owning and operating media outlets. Their riches is increased by this influence, which also raises their social and political status. Below are some of the well-known names on the list of oligarchs. The majority of these people were formerly entrepreneurs and are now giants of industry. Diversification's mastermind in the Russian oligarch pantheon, Roman Abramovich stands out as a prominent figure. Abramovich is well known for having owned Chelsea Football Club before the Russian-Ukrainian war broke out, but his riches goes far beyond the game of football. He has enormous assets in the mining, oil, and steel industries. The steel magnate with a worldwide reach, Alisher Uzmanov's rise from a modest beginning in Uzbekistan to prominence among Russia's elite economic circles is nothing short of remarkable. Uzmanov is primarily well known for his substantial holdings in the mining and metals industries, but his fortune extends beyond his native country. Mikhail Prokhorov known as the Renaissance oligarch, Mikhail Prokhorov represents ambition and adaptability above and beyond the typical oligarch. His many interests are reflected in more than simply his income from the mining business. Prokhorov's ownership of the NBA franchise Brooklyn Nets is well known and serves as a showcase for his worldwide sports endeavors. Vladimir Putin is the industrial visionary. The nickel and metals business is the source of Vladimir Putin and wealth. His business, Norils Nickel, is among the biggest producers of nickel and palladium worldwide. Potanin has become one of the world's wealthiest people thanks to his clever business judgments and strategic vision. However, among this vast sphere of wealth emerge a number of disputes, and the enormous money that Russian oligarchs have accumulated has risen to the forefront of significant international concern. This hotly debated topic includes a number of related issues that have an impact on Russia and the world at large. Among the topics of debates centered on their wealth are political influence, because of the strong relationships between the Russian Federation's leadership and oligarchs. There are important concerns regarding the oligarchs' potential to influence the country's foreign and political policies. Opponents contend that these people have excessive influence over important decision-making procedures, which could jeopardize the values of accountability and democracy. Another noteworthy development is the implementation of global sanctions by a number of Western nations on certain Russian oligarchs in retaliation for Russia's activities in Ukraine and other geopolitical issues. The Russian society was significantly impacted by the emergence of oligarchs. On the one hand, they stood for the risk-takers who dared to pursue wealth, the enterprising spirit of a country in change. However, their quick rise to prominence brought into question the morality of their strategies and the equity of the economic system. This was the beginning of a new chapter in Russia's historical record. It was a time of upheaval, uncertainty, and opportunity, and it also saw the rise of a new class of powerful and affluent people. The oligarch's tale is, in many respects, a microcosm of Russia's turbulent post-Soviet transitional years, illustrating the country's adaptation, resiliency, and unwavering search for identity in a world that was changing quickly. So, this is enough to understand about Russian oligarch and their wealth, power, influence. I hope you find that video interesting. Thank you for watching till the end.